What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to our Moon Saturn conjunction in the 11th house. As in, what happens when Moon and Saturn are conjunct in the 11th house of your verse? And as always, you do not know if you have this particular placement, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your celestial details. For the, check out the links here at karisastrology.com. Where you'll find my books, reports, with all your astrological details, including my consultations, including my unique Venus Wealth Reading that shows you what parameters one has to take to kind of like gain money. Okay. And I talk to you because of the fact I'm, a, I'm somebody who has implemented these things in my own life and benefited through that. Okay, so Moon Saturn in the 11th house. So what is the 11th house? 11th house represents the house of gains, right? It's the house of gains. And it is also um, the house of fulfillment of desires. Large organizations is the house of diseases, health issues, house of elder siblings. So first of all, with uh, Moon Saturn Natalie conjunction, Nafti conjunct, you will see such people become activists. They want to do some kind of activism. You know, it doesn't matter what type. That depends on, kind of like the whole chart in the nakshatra. This uh, Moon Saturn might be placed in. Like for example, if they're in Purva Bhadrapada, natural Aquarius sign. They will be activism, doing activism related to children, children, medicals rights. You know, if let's say this was in um, Revati Nakshatra, they'll be doing activism towards animals. Towards, and then let's say if this was in Ashlesha, they will do some activism towards uh, like climate change and something towards the environment. So depends upon where and how this uh, conjunction is situated they'll be drawn towards giving themselves into service for society. Because Saturn is service, Aquarius, or 11th house is society, which has the energy of Aquarius, and Moon is serving, Moon is nurturing, taking care of things. Okay. And on the other hand also, very big on politics. Because what is politics? First of all, politics is who gets what, where, when, and how much. That's what politics is. There's nothing else to it with politics, okay? And then, uh, when you also look at the fact that politics is about gathering a large group of people to believe in your ideas, right? Like somebody who is convincing you that, oh, I'm going to take care of the environment and I'm going to clear all the emissions and I'm going to do this and I'm going to lower taxes and I'm going to lower your medical bill. They're, they're, they're kind of like trying to gather a large group of crowd to believe in that one thing that will give this person vote. And maybe perhaps if they are honest enough that they can actually fulfill that promise that they made and not have 99.9999% of false promises of politicians. So that's what happened. And then, and I've also said this before, Saturn and Moon. There's this special relationship of a public figure, like somehow, some way, even just by chance, this person has the capacity to become a public figure, but especially when Saturn is in, or when this conjunction occurs in first seven axes, 10th house, 11th house especially, you can see that this person has the strongest capacity to attain gains, fame, recognition through maybe public service to arts and media, especially like, for example, if this person goes into acting, they will make the most emotional, attractive actors. Like they have this humbleness about them. Like they will do roles which are all about starting from the bottom and going to the top. They're, that's the type of a role that they will be uh, always be gravitating towards. 
So regardless of, you know, wh who the person is, one of the things is emotional connection with one's work. Emotional connection with society, that's the second thing. Okay, and emotional connection with the environment. This is where, this is when you know this is how this uh, conjunction is operating. Now, can this bring some melancholy from the mother? Because moon is the mother. Yes, absolutely, it can, if it especially stands in certain barren signs. Like Aries, Gemini, Virgo, okay. Even like Aquarius, a person will feel kind of like uh, a bit of that abandonment by the mother. Now, unless Jupiter is looking or some other planet, that is a different thing. You know, but, uh, but again, usually it shows that a mother would be a working mother who may not have been able to give you the time because she was so busy in her own karmas. Okay? Mother's not just here to be a mother. That's not the whole point of a woman to be here. For a woman, it's not just the child. It's not just the husband. It is their own karma they have to finish and deal with. Because everybody, regardless of who you are, we're all, like, let's say these are all the different species, different human beings here on this plane. You know what's happening? All of this is trying to reach this one place. And you know what that one place is. You want to call it Nirvana. You want to call it Heaven. You want to call it God. You want to call it Shunita. You want to call it God Realization. Great. It's all that. It's like Om Tat Sat. That's what it is. Okay, now, especially one thing I'll say. If Moon Saturn are together in this condition and they're in the sign of Mars or aspected by Mars, then you will see that this person will actually do something big in a world of spirituality. Fine, they may do chemical engineering or something, but they will do something very significant in their life related to spiritual progress. Okay? So anyway, guys, this is my now subs. Moon Saturn in the 11th house. And as all this, if you do not know, if you have this particular position, what side is in, what is in, all your other details, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.